I'm going to start by performing hand hygiene and providing privacy by closing the curtain and shutting the door. I'm then going to introduce myself to the patient, and I'm going to verify the patient using two patient identifiers, such as name and date of birth, and checking it with their wrist scan. This is the right patient. Um, we're going to start by explaining to the patient that we're doing the deep tendon reflexes and testing them. Um, we're going to test his bicep, his tricep, his patellar, and his Achilles, as well as check for ankle clonus. Um, this is important because it checks for things such as preeclampsia, which can be harmful to you and the baby. Um, then we are going to grade your reflexes using a zero to four scale. Zero meaning the reflex is absent, one meaning the reflex is um, diminished, two being a normal brisk reaction, three being a little bit too brisk, and four being hyperactive, which can be indicative of preeclampsia. Um, so we're going to start by doing the bicep. So. Like this. <laughs> All right, and then you want to go like this and turn it around like this, and kind of relax it. Okay, so those are both two plus. Then we're going to start by doing your knee and ankle from this angle. I know that's kind of hard. Okay. okay, so that's a two plus. And then we're going to check the Achilles as well. <laughs> all right, so they're all two plus reactive. We're also going to check for ankle clonus, which can be a sign of preeclampsia as well. That's one of the main signs. So you're going to put your foot out like this, and I'm going to push it up like that, and you just let it fall. So that's a normal positive reaction. I mean, negative. It's normal reaction. So then, if I were to push the foot up like this, and you were to bounce it. Like bounce your feet into the hand, not like this. That would be an abnormal reaction indicating preeclampsia. I'm going to make sure the patient is comfortable before I leave the room, perform hand hygiene, make sure the collate's in reach, and document the patient's reflexes.